بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس مائی نیم از مقدس بٹ اینڈ آئی ایم یور انسٹرکٹر فار دا کورس اسکول کمیونٹی اینڈ ٹیچر آئی ویلکم یو آل ان دی انٹروڈکٹری سیشن آف یور کورس ان دس انٹروڈکشن انٹروڈکٹری سیشن آئی ووڈ پرووائڈ یو این اورینٹیشن ٹو دا اسٹرکچر آف دا کورس اینڈ ول ٹرائی ٹو پرووائڈ اے میپ آف ویئر دا کلاس اور دا کورس ول اسٹارٹ اینڈ ویئر اٹ ول اینڈ In this introductory session, I would also like to delineate what I expect you in this course. Here you can see the course essentials which include program, semester, course code and credit hours. So actually this course is designed for B.Ed. Honours 6 semester students and the course code is EDUC 3141. And the credit hours for this course is three credit hours, which means we are supposed to have 30 lectures in total. The course description is very important aspect of any, any course because the course description is designed to inform you about the subject matter, approach, breadth and applicability of the course. So the purpose of this course is to provide an opportunity to develop awareness about linkage among school, community and teacher for effective education program. This course will help to explore the interaction between teaching and learning within school and community. This course also emphasizes that how to experience the social contact with the community and how to mobilize community for the development of the school. This course covers a wider range of issues including culture, gender, special needs, equality and equity and collaborative working condition within the school and the community. This course also provides an orientation for the process of socialization and social development. This course also emphasizes on social factors which may affect education. This course has some practical aspects as well like community work covering but not limited to health promotion activities, promotion of healthy environment, awareness campaigns related to education and cultural peace and harmony. Although uh, this component of the course, I mean the practical work which involves community work, um, that may not go uh, gonna happen the way we have planned when the course was designed in the spring semester. Um, but we will um, consid uh, consider the um, upcoming situation and circumstances and we will decide later uh, about this component. Here are the course or the learning objectives which show that what I want my students to learn. So these stated objectives will uh, also guide you to uh, work through the course. So the main objectives of the course are that after completing the course, the students will be able to discuss relation between school and community. The students will be able to know the process of linkage among the school, community and teacher for effective education. The students will be able to identify the social factors affecting education and how it can support the development of education. The students will also know the role of teacher and school in socialization of student and development of society and the students will also be able to contribute in community work, health promotion activities and endorsement of health, healthy and peaceful environment. So this all shows that uh, you are also responsible for your success. So you may assess your learning progress by considering these stated objectives throughout the course. Now I'm going to provide you the um, information about the course contents although I will also upload the course offline on our Google Classroom page but here we will uh, comprehensively discuss what we will be um, uh, discussing in terms of course contents. So the very first unit, unit number one is titled as Society, Community and Culture. 
in this unit we will uh, discuss some definitions of community and society and we will also highlight the structure and functions of a community we will talk about the individual status and his or her role in the society we will also talk about the uh, social interaction cultural diversity culture and cultural elements of pakistani community and most importantly we will discuss the role of education in strengthening the community unit number 2 is group and group dynamics and uh, in this unit we will uh, discuss different types of social groups uh, we will uh, talk about the individual behavior and group behavior along with the role of school and teacher in modeling individual and group behavior unit number 3 is titled as socialization uh, this is one of the uh, significant um, uh, content uh, or the unit in this course uh in this unit we will uh, try to explore the aims of socialization and uh, we will discuss the agencies and agents of socialization we will also talk about stages of social development and role of school in socialization unit 4 is social institutions and uh, this is again another important unit of this course in which we will discuss different social institutions um, uh, for example family institution economic institution religious institution and educational institutions and uh, we will explore the role of each institution in community development unit 5 is titled as school and community and uh, in this uh, unit we will explore the relation between school and community and the activities which may uh, the school activities which may contribute to the community development and progress unit number 6 is uh, about social control and in this unit we will see that why social control is uh, crucial or important and we will also uncover some methods of social control Unit number seven is teachers' role in school and community, and uh, in this unit we will uh, try to discuss the teachers' effectiveness and uh, create uh, the importance of creating expressive environment in classroom, and uh, we will also discuss effective and reflective teaching and um, creative and creative uh, the the importance of creative and critical teaching for for the community development. Unit number eight is technological change. Uh, in this unit, we will we will discuss the role of technology and modern um, uh, modern ICT or the use of modern ICT for the community development. To achieve the course objectives, we will be utilizing multiple suitable teaching learning strategies, uh, preferably online audio video lecture. online discussion inquiry based teaching and learning reflections self assessment and peer evaluation uh once the first lecture of the course uh, will be on aired or this inter- introductory session will be on aired we will decide the days and times of the course meets and we will consider um, uh, your concerns and um, uh your convenience as well and we will dis- mutually decide the time and the days uh for the for the course meets uh during the course meets you may ask any questions and uh, if you would be having any concerns regarding the uh course delivery or the lecture delivery you may highlight those concerns and issues as well as you may uh you, you know provide your constructive remarks on the on the course or the delivery of the course you must be aware that uh, university of education has certain sets of standards and requirements and students are required to work within those standards and requirements like grading policies and uh, uh, grading criteria etc so to meet the set standards of formative and summative assessment you need to uh, be very vigilant and you need to be very active so uh, i would uh, advise that uh, you must ex- um, 
accept personal responsibility and should have strive for improving personal self management because taking the course online is a quite different experience than the um, physical classroom teaching and learning experience so to succeed in this course you must choose to stay focused and involved in every class and i expect that you will offer your best comments your best questions and answers and uh, you will uh, you will you know demonstrate an active discussion um, during the um, whole course delivery so as you can see that the assessment criteria includes uh, a quiz or a seminar um, because when the course was uh, uh, designed and um, uh, you know uh, restructured um, the seminar was um, uh, was was um, was uh, an important component of the course so I'm not sure really that uh, in in the present circumstances whether we'll be able to resume the physical classroom teaching and learning so if we would be able to do so we will conduct a seminar uh, in the other case we will uh, we may organize a webinar and uh, I will provide you uh, the information and detail that what a webinar is and how could we uh, organize a, web, a webinar uh, during the online delivery of this course. Then we have the community work uh, project uh, which has the 10% of that course. Uh, again it depends on the, uh, on the upcoming situation. Uh, if we will be able to resume the classes, we will be um, uh, demonstrating that component as it was planned before the COVID-19 pandem pandemic outbreak. Um, in other cases, we will manage uh, that uh, person percentage of the of the marks. Uh, regarding the midterm exam, we have just received a notification from the competent author authorities that um, if the present situation will be persisting and will be continuing in the in the future, uh, there will be no midterm exam. I mean, uh, there will there will be no paper pencil based midterm exam as we used to have. Um, uh, normally in our university so we may have an online midterm exam uh, but we will decide uh, about it later on once the uh, course is started online final exam is of 60 percent and um, cumulatively we have 100 marks for this course here I have enlisted the references of the key reading materials that you may consult to expand your understanding of the course content as well as preparing your assignments. So you may go through the uh, uh, recommended readings. Uh, a few of the readings are available online and um, easy to access because these are open access material. A few of the content you may find restricted. Um, and uh, if you find so, you may ask me. I will try my best to provide you the content or the reading material. All right, so that's all about the course. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, that I would be uploading the course of, uh, outline in the uh, Google Classroom page. So you may consult the course outline there. So let me say you thank you until our first online um, uh, lecture. So be ready till then, Allah first.